we're back with a Python tutorial and sorry, we're back with a Python tutorial and today we're gonna learn about the Boolean values. So you do know that we have we have covered three type three types of da three data types which it which are now which are integer whoops the integers I'm just spamming this whole thing. Oh whoops. Then there are floating points and there are, and there's also strings. So you see that there are indefinite number. You can do like indefinite of these sort of stuff, right? Well, but in the Boolean values there are only two sort of values. There are only two values. True You'll see this red thing here and false. Now take note that the T has to be capital and the F also has to be capital. Okay? I'd like to say name error. Name true is not defined. Of course I know that. So now we're gonna now I'm gonna introduce to you all all these uh um, comparing operators. This, there's this, which means equal equals to. Although you say if you just put it itself, it'll just a syntax error. Yeah. There's also exclamation mark equal, which means that is not equal to. There's also this. You should know this. You should know. If you don't know, you can go check on any math website or whatever. Not yeah. And also this. And there's also this, and those are not arrows, cause you see, um, this sign means less than, and after that followed by this equal. This means that this, if you put a number here, if the number he that means the number here has to be either small than or equals to this number over here. Otherwise, your output false. Okay, so let me let me show you. How boolean values can be used in this sort of stuff. So look, type in this. Type in the long into the director shell. Forty two equals forty two. That's true. Forty two does not equal to forty two. False. Then uh, three is less than five. Then five is five is greater than nine. False. And here's here's something that I want y'all to think about. So, oh, whoops. So, guys, what do you think this will evaluate to? I'll give you about six seconds to figure it, to try it yourself. Okay, you should be done guessing right now. It evaluates to true. But, but some people will say, hey, 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 look, you see, if you, you, can only use, you can only use integers to compare. Why, why doesn't this give you the next error? Well, here's this logic, but of course I don't agree with this logic. Cause look, a look at the alphabet. It's, it'll say like A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S and whatever not, right? So A cup look comes like A comes before B, right? Yeah. So we treat it as something like A equals one. B is two and 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 so on. I I I know that. Yeah, I just purposely did that. But yeah. So here's something else I want you to think about. Okay, I'll give you about six seconds to figure this one out too. Okay, guys. So guess what? False. Hey, but, hey, but, look, you see, that I put a 42 here, but, and there's also 42, why is it false? Okay, look. Okay, so Python treats a string completely differently to an integer. That's why it outputs false. Oh, whoops. So it outputs false. However, you can still do this, though. This will still evaluate to true. And, whoops. And it should be really obvious why. 
So, and this will co come really in handy when you actually uh, come in, when we come into the if and while loops, um, if conditional and while loops. Okay, so here's another one. You know we have le we have learned about the store function, the int function, and perhaps okay maybe we haven't learned this one yet, the len function, and I'm going to cover that um, sometime in the future. Okay, but here's another function, bool. Okay, so this bool function when you just type nothing in it, it returns false because look. Okay, because look, you see. Hey man, you've not typed anything in. Why? Why should I return true? Okay, I I know. Anyway, I'm also gonna cover return sometime in the future. Yeah. A and even if you type something like zero, I guess. Why does it return false? Excuse me. Well, that's because zero doesn't doesn't quite have a value. Okay. Like rather, it's like. You see, zero is almost like undefined, and and of course, if you type zero point zero, which is exactly the same thing as zero, and I think I should know, bool at blank string it will also return you false. If you type anything else, like this, it will always return true. Okay, so to recap, we have six operators to actually like show you how like like uh to show you, to compare stuff and strings will not, are not the same as, are not quite the same as as uh what what you call this uh integers and and all these four values. Are defi uh, define nothing, and that's why if you pass it through the bool function, it will return you nothing. So, in my next video, I'm going to go through <coughs> maybe one or two more things about about true and false, because we're going into if if conditionals, and uh, we're also going the to the and or and not. So, hope to see you in the next video. And stay tuned for my full course.